So today I'm coming to y'all and I really want to talk about this whole Carly Russell situation because we were duped, we were lied to and how, what is the ripple effect of a situation like this on the black community, women in general, when we report things, we need help and how that one person's lie can affect so many people's lives moving forward. So sit back and let's get into it. I'm Denise Brady, I'm a therapist. And so looking at this case, we know at this point it was a lie, it was a hoax. Even me, myself, there were times in the beginning I was like questioning, <clears throat> is this really real? But I want to come from a focal point of just believing black women because oftentimes people do not believe us. There are so many black girls out there still missing because in the beginning the police did not um, searched for them because they thought they were a runaway, they thought they were lying. Here we have this girl, Carly Russell now, lying, okay? I think this whole case is gonna set us back so far as women of color being believed. Because I feel like when a woman of color needs help, domestic violence, human trafficking um, becomes missing, my concern is that the forefront is gonna be this Carly Russell case. Well, you see how many resources we put into that other girl and she was lying? Well, you do know black women be lying. Look at this one over here. Is she, did she run away? Is she really missing? Those are the thoughts I'm concerned with when it comes to future cases of women being reported missing, human trafficking. They're gonna think about this case. One girl's decision to lie to get attention from it seems like a boyfriend and possibly her parents is really going to be detrimental to so many women who need help who need services people already don't believe us okay they don't believe us when we need help which leads to we feel like we have to take on the world ourselves we feel like we are a burden we feel like we are on our own we feel like we have to hide our pain our suffering because of things that have happened to us because the world does not believe us. So now you have the whole world looking for this girl and to know at the end of the day, it was a lie. Okay. Now, how is that going to look when somebody else becomes missing? They really are missing. It's going to be detrimental. One person's actions. And I can't believe that this was all done for the attention of a male. And honestly, I don't think it was the first time that she's done something like this. From what I've read, um, you know, her parents were sending her large amounts of money. They went to Atlanta to find her because they were afraid that um, before they could find her and get to her, that the media would realize she wasn't really missing. Um, it was also, you know, frustrating to me to know, you sit in the hotel room, painting your nails, eating Slim Jims, why the whole world is praying for you. you. You sit in the hotel watching your cell phone TV, girl. And the fact that you she planned this because she wants to get the attention of her boyfriend is a man really worth ruining your life for. Because how can she come back from this? Let me know if you think she can really come back from this situation because the whole world knows your name, your reputation in your town, your city is ruined. At this point, should her parents move too? Should they all just pack up and leave? Because this lie was heard around the world. And I want people to realize sometimes you make mistakes that not only affect you, but affect so many other people. Not to mention, there was a woman who was helping them look for her daughter, whose daughter herself was really hurt by somebody permanently and did not come back home. And I can't believe that the parents, it's like they knew. How could you put this woman through repeated trauma that she has already gone through knowing that her own child never returned home, knowing that your child is really out there somewhere not missing? There are so many layers to this story that there were so many wrongs done to so many people. And I really hope that, I don't know if I want her to go to jail. I don't know what I really want, but I, I would hope she would realize it wasn't worth it. So these are my thoughts as a therapist. I really hope that this does not have a ripple effect where other black women are not believed because this is gonna be very detrimental to do this all because you want the attention of a man. 
And I think she has some other issues going on in her life. I heard about some embezzlement going on. She's saying nobody helped her. The statement to me, she said over and over again in her statement, nobody helped me, I did this on my own. That to me shows the emphasis of covering for other people. Somebody else helped you get to the other side, girl. Now, was there a car on the other side of that forest? Okay, you can have done all this by yourself. So these are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Do you think this is gonna be very detrimental to people of color? How you think this might affect future women who need help with human trafficking, get kidnapped? It was, it's just, it feels exhausting, okay? It feels exhausting and I really hope that she does get some mental health help. I don't know if she has current issues, but there has to be something going on to make you go through the level of this. To put this whole thing together, hoping your man would pay attention, hoping he would get back together with you. Was it really worth it, girl? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm Denise Brady and I'll see you in the next video.